Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am bringing you this easy, quick summer hair tutorial and I'm starting off on a old stretch twist out. And I'm bringing you this tutorial in partnership with Brown Girl Bloggers featuring the new Black Sea Oil line from Revlon Realistic. Um, but first, before we even get started, I need to section off my hair. So as you guys know, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, I like to take my hair and section it off into four sections to make it easier to work with. I am jealous of those people who can just wash their hair without sectioning off anything. I'm jealous. So because I have a lot of hair, it's very thick. It gets tangled very easy. So this makes it easier for me to wash my hair. So I just like to use those elastic ties, um, ribbon ties to secure each section. And then to prep for the shampoo, we're going to saturate the one section of hair with water. You want to make sure you get the hair nice and wet so it makes the shampoo, well, it makes it easier to shampoo your hair. And I haven't washed my hair in a week, so it was overdue for a shampoo anyway. So we're going to start off with the strengthening shampoo that did not want to focus for me. And I love that this is sulfate free, paraben free, no mineral oil, no mineral oils, um, petroleum or colorants. And this has a creamy texture. I'm used to like the watery texture of normal shampoos, but this is like nice and creamy, which was a plus and kind of different for me. And this smells like candy. I love the scent of this line. It just smells so good. So you see it lathers so well and it felt really, really moisturizing as I was washing my hair. Um, I really liked how it applied to my hair and this also um, helps to strengthen your hair, um, prevent breakage, um, you know, strengthen your hair, nourish your scalp, and it provides UV protection. So if you're in the sun a lot, especially this summer, it really helps protect your hair from the sun and the UV rays. So after we um, applied the shampoo and cleansed that section, we're going to rinse it out. And I love how moisturized my hair felt after I rinsed it out. Um, it didn't have like that normal, you know how when you use shampoo, it has that strict, really, really clean, squeaky clean feeling. It didn't have that. Um, my hair felt moisturized and I love how it prepped my hair for whenever I apply the conditioner afterwards. So you're going to continue to really rinse that out and be careful. Um, I did leave some shampoo behind um, when I first rinsed it out. So you want to be careful with this, um, that you really rinse all the shampoo out. And if necessary, you can repeat the process um, of saturating your hair with water, cleansing the section um, with the shampoo, just making sure you're massaging your scalp and really getting in there. Um, and just, you know, let it lather and just, and you can detangle honestly with this as well. You can you have a little bit of slippage so you can kind of detangle your hair a little bit. And then after you rinse, oh yeah, now you're going to rinse and then you're going to get ready to apply your conditioner. And you can see how lovely my hair looks after using the um, shampoo. So now we're going to go in with the strengthening intense moisture conditioner which I was struggling with to pump some of the um, product out. I don't know why it was giving me a hard time, but I was having a time right there. Um, this is like the same thing as the shampoo, um, strengthens hair, nourishes your um, hair. Um, it makes it visibly shinier and stronger and also provides the UV protection. And I love how this has a slightly thicker, smooth texture as normal conditioners do. This kind of doubles as a deep conditioner, which this line is missing. I noticed they didn't have a deep conditioner. Yes, and I said this smells good. Um, they don't have a deep conditioner, which I it would kind of was missing, but I think this can double as your deep conditioner. So after you apply a little bit of the conditioner, you're going to detangle your hair. And it may seem like I'm being kind of rough with my hair, but I'm not. It is pretty thick. So um <laughs> it needs a little bit more taunting, but um yeah, this kind of doubles as a deep conditioner because you apply this and then you leave it on under a plastic cap for 10 minutes. So, um, yeah, I think you can use this as a regular conditioner or you can just stop right here after you leave it in for a while and have this as your deep conditioner. So after you detangle your hair, you're going to apply a little bit more just to further saturate the hair and make sure you get those ends. <laughs> and then you're going to just um, twist the section out of the hair and put it back into a, a bun and repeat the process on the other sections, as you're going to see in a moment. This is my you know. So you're just going to continue <laughs> processing the other four sections. I kind of spread it up a little bit there. Um, 
I really like this conditioner. It was really easy to work with, had really great slippage, um, really made it really, really easy for me to, you know, apply and detangle my hair. And it just felt really, really moisturizing. And, you know, I felt it penetrating into my hair to bring that intense moisture. So now I'm going to cover my hair with a plastic cap. I need to because I love hair. And we're going to leave this in for 10 minutes. I think I left it in for a little bit longer than 10 minutes, like I normally do. So we are back in the shower. Um, I left it in, I think I left it in for about 15 minutes. So now we're going to wash out the conditioner. You don't want your hair, your water to be too hot. You want it to be kind of warm. And as you can see my reaction here, my hair felt super soft and moisturized and silky. I loved how it felt. So be careful rinsing this out as well. You don't want to leave any in, but this felt really, really good. I loved how it left my hair feeling super moisturized and soft. So you want to take your time with rinsing that out and slightly detangling your hair as you are rinsing this section out because you're about to apply your leave-in conditioner in a moment. Um, if you don't know my YouTube tutorials, I like to apply my leave-in conditioner in the shower. So you can see my hair is really moisturized and shiny and just my curls are popping. So I'm impressed so far with this line after using the shampoo and conditioner. So now we're going to use the Strengthening Buttercream Leave-In Conditioner. You can apply this in the shower. I like to apply, or outside the shower, I like to do it in the shower and this smells so good as well. As I said, this whole line smells really, really good. So this has like a thick, silky texture to it. Like normally my leave-in conditioners, which I really, really like. Really easy to work with. So you just want to take a generous amount. And you're just going to rake that through the section. And I was like, it feels good. It has nice slippage. Um, it really applies very easily. Um, it kind of layers along with, after rinsing out the conditioner, it locks in that moisture. Um, this is... The strengthening one, um, this leave-in um, helps to penetrate deep into your hair, strengthen, seal, and smooth every strand, um, which I really did feel like it was doing as I was applying it. So after you apply it to that section, you're going to flat twist that section out of the way. And then you're just going to repeat the process over the next few sections, or the next three sections, or how many sections you have of your hair, how you wash it. Just going to take down the section, rinse out the conditioner that was previously in here, apply the leave-in conditioner, and you can be heavy-handed with this one. It doesn't weigh your hair down. It's very lightweight, so you can use as much as you want. And then twist the section out of the way. And just repeat until you are done. Of just rinsing, applying leave-in conditioner, and twisting your hair. So after you are all done, you should have large twist in your hair or whatever, however you section off your hair. So I'm just going to use a t-shirt, an old t-shirt, to absorb the excess water. Um, so it absorbs out of my hair, so it makes it easier to style my hair. Um, this is something I like to do, like a little tip that I learned along the way as learning about my natural hair. Um, just to absorb the excess water, don't use a towel, use a t-shirt because it won't, you won't have as much frizz or friction. So, um, I'm going to take my shower, let the excess water absorb out of my hair, and I'll catch you guys when I start to style my hair. And, of course, I was struggling again. <laughs> so I am back. My hair is pretty damp. It's not so wet. And I'm trying to decide what to do with my hair. So I decided I was going to do like a twist up in the front and leave the back curly. Sort of like a somewhat wash and go, but something different. So I'm going to section off a medium sized section in the front for my twist. I'm going to do two twists up front. You can do one, one across. I decided to do two. And you can make your part as big or as small as you want. I kind of like to do it from like from ear to ear. That's kind of like how I like to do my part. And I was struggling with this um, rat tail comb and trying to part this hair because I have so much of it and it just doesn't want to cooperate sometimes. But you just want to make sure your part is nice and straight unlike mine that was crooked. But you can't tell because <laughs> once you style the hair, you can't tell if my part was straight or not. But anyway, I um, just want to take your time with parting the hair, making sure you get it exactly the 
size you want. And then once you're done, you're going to twist that out of the way and you're going to, um, we're going to start in the front, but we're just going to secure the back first. So after you twist that front section out of the way and put it up, you're going to take down the back twist and then secure that with a hair tie just to get it out of the way so you can, so the hair won't be in the way when you're twisting the front. I'm going to take down that front. I'm going to do a side part. You can do a middle part. You can do one twist. You can do two. You can do three. I just want to do two. Um, you can do as many as you want. Um, just tailor it to how you want to wear your hair. So for my styler, I'm going to use the Strengthening Curling Custard. Um, this actually um, adds definition to your hair. And this has like a really like smooth, silky texture to it, which I really like. Um, Really nice texture, great for slippage, great for um, applying your hair. So you're just going to apply that to that section. Detangle the section. I'm using my demo brush. You can use whatever you use to detangle your hair. And just keep, keep applying. And then you're just going to flat twist it. I'm flat twisting it towards the back of my hair. You can do it any other way. But I think it looks cuter when you do the flat twist going towards the back of your hair. So you just want to take your time doing that um, and make sure that section is detangled so you don't have issues when you are twisting your hair. And you're just going to twist it. Two turn twist, you can do cornrows, whatever it pleases you, but I just want to do the twist because it made it easier. Um, I'm just going to twist all the way down and we're going to secure those out of the way later. I just want to do the twist at first. And about this um, curling custard, this um, <laughs> it's proven to give your hair more strength and shine and style, which is kind of like the overall theme for this line is to strengthen your hair, give it moisture, um, make it shiny, um, you know, protect your hair from the UV rays, um, which I really, really like. I'm highly impressed. There's also a curling pudding. Um, I'm maybe, oh, I'm sorry, a twisting pudding. I probably want to try on a twist out next time, but I just decided just to use the curling custard since I was doing this style. So after you have your two twists, you're going to take small sections in the back and you're going to apply the curling custard to your sections just to make sure each strand is saturated and you get that definition in your curls. That's why you want to make sure your hair is pretty damp so um, that the product works really well with your hair. So we're just going to take a generous amount, not too much, but you know, a good medium sized section. I'm just going to rake it through that section of hair. Now, I love how easy this was to use. Um, it just glided right through my hair, great slippage, and you see my curls starting to define. And then you want to take your demon brush and detangle the section. You can detangle beforehand, but I wanted to detangle it afterwards just to help clump the curls together. And you're just going to go through your entire back section of hair, applying the product and detangling. And I I'm highly impressed with this black tea oil line from Milan Realistic. I absolutely love it. Their shampoo was, I love the shampoo. It didn't leave that really stripped feeling. Um, it left my hair very moisturized. It prepped it for the conditioner. The conditioner was really, really moisturizing. It left my hair very, very soft and moisturized. And I kind of felt my hair felt a little bit stronger. As it says, it has the strengthening properties. I kind of wish this line had a deep conditioner because I think it really would have set off the moisture in the hair and made it really soft and fluffy and really locked in that moisture. Maybe they will have a deep conditioner. But um, I love the leave-in conditioner. It really locked in all the moisture, um, great slippage, and this whole line smells amazing. It smells so good. I love it. So after we are done with the entire hair, you're going to use small body pins to pin back your twist. You can put them how far back you want um, and just secure both twists with a small body pin. And then after, which is optional, I'm using the larger body pins to pin back the top of my hair because it was looking a little crazy. But um, yeah, that is it for this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoy this nice, easy summer style. Um, let me know if you try this out and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more videos from me. And until next time, guys, I will see you in the next video. And I highly recommend trying out this Revlon Realistic line. Everything's amazing. Go try it out. It's amazing for your natural hair. So I'm just um, showing you guys how my curls are popping with that curling custard. 
And you just want to let your hair air dry. And yeah, I will catch you guys later.